Hi friends, welcome to plant class. I'm so excited for today's lesson. Um, we get to imagine up some things and some fantasy plants and I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, the first thing I wanna do is just watch a video instead of read something like we normally do. Um, this is a video from Harry Potter because this project is kind of based off of a part from the movie and book. Um, I don't know if you've read it or seen it before, but I hope this doesn't ruin it. But first we'll just watch that, so here we go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Welcome to Greenhouse Three Second Years. Now gather round, everyone. Today we're going to repot mandrakes. Who here can tell me the properties of the mandrake root? Yes, Miss Granger. Mandrake or mandragora is used to return those who've been petrified to their original state. It's also quite dangerous. The mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Excellent. Ten points to Gryffindor. Now, as our mandrakes are still only seedlings, their cries won't kill you yet, but they could knock you out for several hours, which is why I've given each of you a pair of earmuffs for auditory protection. So could you please put them on right away? Quickly. Flaps tight down and watch me closely. You grasp your mandrake firmly, you pull it sharply up out of the pot. <laughs> Got it. And now you dunk it down into the other pot and pour a little sprinkling of soil to keep him warm. <sighs> Longbottom's been neglecting his earmuffs. No, ma'am. He's just fainted. Yes, well, just leave him there. Right, on we go. Plenty of pots to go around. Grasp your mandrake and pull it up. So I just chose to watch that video because I think that is a fun thing to launch us into this project. Primarily, I think so because a mandrake is actually based off of a real plant in the real world that really has healing properties. So where they exaggerated what a mandrake can do for Harry Potter, it actually is a plant in the real world. So the first thing you guys are going to do is pick a plant that you want to do this project based off of. I chose a fern and then once I chose that, I decided to look up what the qualities of a fern are. Um, a fern is an air purifying plant. So once I found that out, I decided to exaggerate that to make it more fantastical than just that. Um, but here are the materials you guys are gonna need. What you guys are going to need for this project is just some white paper, a larger piece of colored paper, some scissors, tape, and then just some drawing materials like Sharpies, pens, pencils, whatever you guys have laying around. So the first thing I did was just draw a couple things on the white or scrap paper that I had. So I drew my plant and then a couple other things to make this composition fuller. Um, a fiddlehead is important to the narrative of the fantastical nature of my plant, so I drew that separately from the overall depiction of that plant. And then I made a little title just so I could put that in there and I did a typeface that was kind of ferny and then I did a little description of what the plant does and then some little bubbles to fill out the space around it as well. Um, and you can just take some time to think about how this composition looks on the paper, move it around as you want. Um, I like to start by putting the bigger pieces on first because they take up more space and then you can kind of move around it but you guys can kind of do this however you want um, and then just go ahead and tape or glue it down so that you can make your composition. Sometimes I like to do this where I cut out a picture and then replace it on a different piece of paper because I think it can be easier to draw things without feeling nervous how they're gonna turn out because then you get to choose 
what is going to be in your composition and maybe what you don't want to add to it at the end. And then I also think that the contrast of the colored background with the other stuff makes it look a little fuller sometimes. So then you have a composition. So I chose a fern and the quality that I chose to exaggerate on is the air purifying quality. Um, I exaggerated it so much to say that when you ate a fiddlehead, which is the part of the fern that produces new growth, it's also depicted right here, that you would shrink down to a tiny person to fit into the root chamber to hang out in a place that has clean air with all of your friends. So whatever plant you guys choose, I want you to exaggerate a true quality of that plant into some magical quality that is really fun for you. I hope that you guys had fun stretching your imaginations. I know that I did. If you had so much fun that you want to keep doing it, you can go ahead and make a whole ecosystem with plants with natural and magical properties and kind of see how they fit together in this world. I hope you had fun with this project and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.